Hello there and welcome to another CBS instruction video. We've had so many requests for this one because it's a subject that causes a lot of confusion for our customers. And that's threads and how to measure them. Threads are all around us. They hold our world together. There are probably thousands of them on your car. From this little M3 countersunk screw to this M16 bolt. Identifying and choosing the right one can be critical to the reliability and safety of your vehicle. If you're not familiar to the world of engineering, the sheer range of different thread types and sizes available can be very confusing. But there are four things you need to be able to measure and identify any thread. The first thing is a digital measuring caliper, like this one here from our catalogue. It's accurate to within half a thousandth of an inch and you can switch between metric and imperial readings at the press of a button. The next thing you need is a thread gauge, like this one here from our catalogue. It's got imperial gauges on one side and metric gauges on the other side. And there are 52 different fold out leaves here all different pitches of thread like for instance this 6 TPI gauge here right down to this 62 TPI gauge on this side and on the other side of the gauge we've got the metric sizes all the way from this 6 mil pitch right down through to the more common ones 1.25 1.5 2 mil 1 mil over here right down to very fine 0 0.3 pitch. The next thing is a thread chart like this one here which you can find in the back pages of our catalogue. It lists all the data for pretty much every common thread in use today. And the last thing is a little bit of knowledge about inches, millimetres, fractions and how to convert between them and you'll find this conversion chart at the back of our catalogue which will help you do just that. Of course the simplest way of identifying a thread on a bolt is to try it in a known nut. We know this nut is an M8 nut, so let's try the bolt in it. If it fits nicely, it's not loose, it doesn't rock to and fro or forwards and backwards, that's an M8 bolt. If you have a set of taps and dies, there's another way you can check the size of a thread. I've gone through the taps here. And I've found one which fits perfectly on this piece of studding and it's M10 by 1.5. Imperial threads like BSF and Whitworth have been around for hundreds of years. The American UNF system was combined with the British system after the Second World War to produce what we know today as UNF and UNC. Looking on the chart here at the Whitworth threads, I need to put on my times two glasses that I got from Poundland. Can't remember how much they were. We can look down the second column and we can see threads per inch. Quarter Whitworth is 20 threads per inch. Half inch Whitworth is 12 threads per inch. One inch Whitworth is eight threads per inch. And that follows for BSF, British Standard Pipe, UNF, UNC. Second column always has the threads per inch for a particular bolt size. But more recently, metric has become the most popular system pretty much all over the world. And over on this side, we've got metric coarse and metric fine. Uh, in the second column is the pitches from 0 0.4 right down to 4 mil in the coarse and 1 mil pitch to 2 mil pitch in the fine. But there's one big difference in how imperial and metric threads are denoted, and that's the pitch of the thread. The pitch of a metric thread is measured between the top of two adjacent threads. In this case, I've put here 1.5, so it could be an M10 by 1.5. So you could find, for example, that a 10mm diameter bolt, an M10 bolt, 
can be available in several different pitches. So an M10 by 0.75, M10 by 1, M10 by 1.25, M10 by 1.5. Imperial threads, on the other hand, are denoted by how many threads there are in one inch. I've marked a line here and a line here, denoting one inch, and I can count one, two, three, four threads between those two lines. So that would be four threads per inch, four TPI. And so we have a bolt with an unknown thread. We check through the leaves on the thread gauge until we can find one that's close. And we lay that on the top of the bolt and see if it's a good fit on the threads. Does it rock? Is it sitting nicely at the bottom of each thread from end to end? When you find the right one, you'll know it. And in this case, it's 20. 20 TPI on the imperial side of the gauge. So we know we have a 20 TPI thread. Next thing to do is to measure the diameter of the thread. So let's measure it in the jaws of the caliper. It looks like 0.494, which is almost 0.5. Switch it over to metric with the press of a button and it's 12.5. Well, you wouldn't have a, a metric 12.5 thread. So, looks like it's imperial. 0.494, almost half an inch, 0.5. Now, you'll never ever get that thread exactly at 0.5. Every thread always measures slightly less than its denoted value. So a 0.5, a half inch thread, will, will measure slightly less. 494, 0.494 inches. So we've got two figures. We've got a 20 TPI thread, and we know the diameter is half an inch. So we look on our chart, have a look down the BSF. Threads per inch, 20 threads per inch in the BSF chart. Look across to this column, and it's 3 eighths of an inch. Well, it's not three eighths, it's half an inch. Look down to Whitworth, 20 TPI there, and that's a quarter inch thread. Well, it's not one of those either. Let's look across here to the UNF sizes. Go down the, the column to 20 TPI there, and we come back to the first column. And we see, oh, there's two threads with 20 TPI, 7 sixteenths and half inch. We know it's not 7 sixteenths, it's half inch. So the thread is half inch UNF. You can also use the thread gauge for measuring female threads like the one on this adapter. This one is actually 18 TPI. You can then use the digital caliper to get an idea of the ID, the internal diameter of the thread. This one is about 0.556 inches. The internal diameter of a female thread will be pretty close to the tapping size of that thread. So if you take a look on the chart for a thread of 18 TPI and an internal diameter tapping size of about 550, there are several with 18 TPI, but the one that matches closely with the tapping size is 58 UNF. You may have noticed that some fittings and unions have a little machined notch on every corner of the hex. This is a kind of a code and it means it's a metric thread. So on these brake fittings, this one with the notches is M10 by 1. This one without the notches is 3x UNF. It's not a golden rule, but it can be quite useful. Well, that's pretty much covered the basics for all types of parallel threads. But there's one more sort of thread that's very common on engines and plumbing systems. That's tapered threads. The engineering formula for manufacturing tapered threads is quite complex, but the basic information you need can be found in our chart here. British Standard Pipe Taper and National Pipe Taper Threads. The TPI, turns per inch information, as usual, is in the second column. And you'll see that some of them are the same, 
and some of them are one thread different. Taper threads were primarily used for plumbing, like gas and water fittings. So the figures in the first column don't actually refer to the outside diameter of the thread, they refer to the internal bore of a pipe with that thread. So, half inch NPT, half inch is not the diameter of the thread, half inch is the internal bore of a pipe fitting with that thread. The outside diameter of the thread, in this instance, is in the third column. There are only a few tapered threads used in the automotive industry, from eighth NPT and BSP, to quarter NPT, BSP, three eighths, and half inch. So how do you know it's a tapered thread? Well, you can measure it with your digital caliper. Take a measurement of the diameter of the first thread. And here we have 0 0.800 inches. And then take another measurement of the last thread. And here we have 825.825 inches. To get an idea of the nominal diameter of a taper thread, you can measure it about halfway down. And this one reads 0.813 inches. And you can use your thread gauge to find out the TPI. In this case, it's 14, 14 TPI. And then you can check on the BSP and NPT taper thread charts. And you can see that half inch NPT has 14 TPI, but also BSP half inch has 14 TPI and the same diameter. In practice, these two threads are pretty much interchangeable. The only difference being the BSP thread is 55 degrees angle and the NPT is 60 degrees angle. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget you can find loads more of our videos on the CBS YouTube channel. Cheers for now. Thank <laughs> you.